Okay, so we're going to go down through uh, Ecom Secom, Nova Scotia. Uh, it's on the eastern shore, uh, west or east, I suppose, of uh, Sheet Harbor. Quite a ways east of Sheet Harbor. Anyways, this is uh, Rusty's Cove. There was just this little sign on the side of the road. And for, at first, we didn't think there was a trail there or anything, but uh, so we went right past it. But then I looked a little harder, and there was a little trail there. So we went down to the cove. This is the cove. Um, it's, again, very typical of the eastern shore of Nova Scotia. Um, quite rocky. Anytime there is sand, it's white sand. But anyways, um, so these are the rocks put on the point. Um, these rocks are... <laughs> they're originally part of Africa. Um, this is the bumper of Africa when the uh, continents collided and made the great supercontinent called Pangaea. And uh, these rocks are deposited in a, a turbidite sequence, which is sort of like a sediment avalanche off the eastern shore of uh, North America, when it was sort of the continental slope, I suppose. Anyways, I just thought I'd show you the rocks. This is uh, the Ecom Secom Wharf, um, commercial wharf, where they fish out of. Um, you might have seen this little clip on a another video that I did, but anyways, I just thought I'd show you in case you hadn't seen it. It's very nice and uh, picturesque down in this little cove. It's on the west side. Uh, it's called West Side Ecom Seacom, I think. Anyways, tide's fairly low there. And that's my buddy Bruce and I riding our motorbikes around Nova Scotia at this point. And so, we're just trying to do a motorcycle video. We're not very good at motorcycle videos, really. I'm better with community videos. Anyways, you might see your house there. I hope you do. This is a beach down in this same area. Um, Quite hard to find. You really sort of have to know where this beach is in order to find it. But uh, the rocks are quite interesting here. Um, there's a little bit of sand, you know, for a very private white sand beach. Um, however, mostly this is a rock beach. And the rocks are quite unusual in that most of them are flat, very rounded, but mostly uh, quite flat. And uh, they're laying in in a geological formation called imbrication. Imbrication. Anyway, sort of laying in there like bricks. That's because they're flat. Well, how are they going to lay when you when the water leaves them behind? Anyways, I just thought I'd show you that. That's it. Bye for now.